Hello everyone, this is Angela at Angela's Garden Sense, and I'm coming to you in response to a tag, a tag from Backyard Gardener. And um, she asked the question, what three things have you learned during this growing season? Well, I will first say that uh, I learned to really plan, to plan my garden better and to plant it early. I knew I was going to grow tomatoes this year. That's always something that I grow or attempt to grow and I've had successes and failures, but that much I knew. I knew I was going to try some new varieties and that was probably the one thing that I had most in my mind, but I didn't really plan my garden fully. And I realized that yes, I should have planned uh, the numbers of peppers I was going to grow or attempt to grow, the kinds of eggplant that I was going to grow, and, uh, and of course the leafy greens. I really didn't plan them as well as I could have. So I've really learned that it's important to really plan as much as you can the season and how you're planning to approach the season. Are you going to do anything differently? Secondly, I learned the value of succession planting. You know, I have been watching gardeners, master gardeners for the last, I'd say two to three years. I've watched people like John Kohler uh, of GrowingYourGreens.com, Luke at MI Gardener, Gary the Rested Gardener, Callie Kim and others. And um, I decided this year that, wow, okay, I'm gonna start planting when they're planting. I'm gonna start my seeds inside when they start their seeds inside. And I'm gonna sort of grow along and, and plant along with them. But I realized something different had happened. Around mid-July, the heat was really beginning to work up. I had gone out of town, come back, a lot of growth, especially with my tomatoes, but some of the others weren't doing that well. Doing okay, but not that well. And uh, then I noticed it was, I believe it was either Kelly Kim or Gary or both, they were suddenly putting out brand new seedlings. And I remember thinking, but I put my seedlings down in April and May, uh, what is this? And I realized, oh, they were then planning ahead for late summer. And then of course I realized the value in August to start thinking ahead, whether you're acting at that point is not as critical as the fact that you're at least thinking ahead for fall. So the value of succession planting. And thirdly, some of you know I've had an expanded area, more space in my backyard, and I realized the value of utilizing what you have. <clears throat> now I've always thought that I always have a small backyard, I have a small space. And of course once I had more space cleared up and we got rid of some shrubs that we really weren't pruning that well anyway, I had a lot more space. But then I looked at my space totally differently. I realized I'd always had more space, space that I had not been using. So use what you have, use the space that you have, use not just the seeds or the tools that you have, but the space that you really do have and you can always grow vertically. Um, I did start using my deck a little bit, a corner of my deck, but I could use a lot more space on my deck as well. So again, the value of planting well, the value of succession planting, and the value of using the space that you have. We can all grow food. We can all do this. And one of the things I have to say, I'm so grateful that I'm a part of this growing community. You know, I watched all the master gardeners for a long time and still just found myself just staring at the camera. Oh, looking, wishing, saying, oh, isn't that nice? Aren't they really good? But then I found some people just like myself, regular people, regular people trying to grow food. And I realized, you know what, I'm going to try this again, but with a different attitude. Now I put down seedlings with not necessarily a same degree of doubt that, oh my gosh, they probably aren't going to germinate. No, I begin to believe now this year, I can really do this. And I'm just grateful for being a part of this community. So, you know, certainly thank you all for that. Um, as I tag three other people, I'm going to tag Letitia. I'm tagging you back. I know I owe you a tag response too, but uh, definitely Letitia at uh, Barefoot Gardening 
and um, I think also Miss Full Roller, I see you all the time in the live streams with um, uh, Backyard Gardener. I'm tagging you too. And sweet, delightful Linda, Miss Linda, New Orleans Gardener, I'm tagging you all. What three things have you all learned this growing season? Anyway, thanks for listening, everyone. Remember to plant something and always eat what you grow. Take care, everybody. Bye.